hope you enjoyed that segment there on how we made oil from boiling down fish guts. I just wanted to explain a few things that we didn't put in that video because my dad filmed that separately, uh, I think about two years ago now. Uh, so I just wanted to add a bit of context to it. Traditionally, the use of fish oil goes back hundreds of years, uh, especially whale oil in areas like Alaska and North America. It's actually still used today by Inuit tribes uh, for lamp oil and as food as well. Uh, but obviously with the development of things like petroleum and things like that, uh, things changed, society changed and they, they found more efficient uh, oils. Whilst on the topic of the west coast of North America, there is a species of smelt over there called the Eulicon. And it's actually so oily that when you, when it, when you dry it, uh, it can actually ignite. You can take a flame to it with a lighter or, or just put it over the campfire and the fish itself is so oily in the content when it dries that it can ignite and it can actually burn like a lantern. So this particular method, although we use modern materials, has been used for hundreds of years. Uh, I believe the Unicon fishing or fisheries have actually died off in the 90s. They might be making a comeback now. I'm sure some of you guys over there who are watching this will be able to inform me a bit more on that, but I believe it did die off quite a bit in the 90s. Uh, but we do get smelt over here in the, the British Isles as well. And yet that again is a very oily fish. So the species of fish we did use in that was rainbow trout, as I, as I uh, mentioned in the video in the text. Uh, but the difference being is that the rainbow trout that we used was actually from a trout farm and we got permission. Trout farms get quite a bit of waste when uh, fishermen catch their fish, they gut their fish there and then on site and the, the fishery keep them in these bags, uh, which, which generally goes to waste. Now we use that for, my dad uses it for shark fishing for chum. I know in certain parts of the world you're not allowed to use chum, uh, but we use that fish guts, we keep it all together and we mash it all together with what's called bran which is kind of like a, a, a horse feed, like oats almost. Uh, and that brand binds all that fish guts together and binds all the oil together. And then we hang it over the, the side of the boat in an onion bag, an onion sack. And that trickles out smell of fish guts and, and you know just delicious smell for sharks quite a few hundred yards out into the ocean. And whenever sharks are swimming and we're shark fishing, whenever they're swimming and they cross that oil trail, that chum slick, they get, they've got that high sensitivity, high sensitivity of smell. They then follow that up the chum trail towards your boat where your baits are and hopefully they take your bait. So we've been using trout guts for a very long time. Or my dad has uh, certainly throughout the 70s, 80s, 90s with his shark fishing. And like I said in the video, that resource was free. We collected that for free. It would otherwise have been a waste product. Uh, so it just goes to show that you can recycle and reuse what would normally be wasted products. And it's a bit more sort of survival really. Like I say, I know we use modern gas, propane and things to, to boil down the, the fish guts, but actually you could do that on a campfire. You could do it in a, in a cast iron uh, cookware if you wanted to. Uh, but the main principle is, is that we used farms trout, which is fed with a high protein oily pellet. So that goes into the trout anyway, is to make them grow fast and grow big because it's one of those industries where supermarkets, etc., are all supplied, you know, that food is in demand now and it's all about the mass produced side of things. So they want to be able to grow these fish on fast uh, to make money essentially. That's kind of what it's about. But it's done at different scales and you get trout farms and then you get trout fisheries, which are two separate things. Trout fisheries are allow you to catch your trout and it, you get a bit more into the art of fly fishing and, and the challenge of catching a fish on a fly. It's much more rewarding. But like I say, high protein pellet, there's a lot of oil in these fish in general. You could even just boil up the skin, the flesh of the trout, and you would still get plenty of oil content. But obviously you really wanna be eating that side of things. So we chucked all the guts in together, boiled it for about 30 minutes, what I didn't include in the video is that we actually sieved that off, that first boil, that first round, sieved it off, caught, caught all the, the, the guts and the entrails, put that aside, and then that 
filtered oil, we then reboiled again for 10 minutes and that just made it a bit more pure and sieved it off again. And it's kind of refining it a bit like dist distilling things really. And that oil was much better quality and it burned for longer. So it's just a simple video. It's a project you guys could maybe do at home. Uh, it uses very little resources really. Yes, you do need a bit of propane, but a uh, gas burner, but you could also use a campfire if you were doing it on a campfire. Uh, but it's just something that perhaps some of you may uh, didn't know about, but it's something that our ancestors did years ago and still do to this day. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, I do appreciate it. Something completely different to what I'd normally put here on TA Outdoors, but we're just mixing things up a bit whilst we're on this, uh, this lockdown that we're in. And yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot more content out to you guys soon. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.